Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about butterflies. Are you ready? Let's begin! Butterflies are colorful flying insects that we often see around gardens and flowers. They belong to a group of insects called Lepidoptera. This group also includes moths. Let's go over the physical characteristics of the butterfly. Wings Butterflies have two pairs of wings that are usually brightly colored and covered with tiny scales. These scales give butterflies their vivid patterns. Antenna Butterflies have two antennae on their heads, which are often clubbed at the ends. They use this antenna to sense their environment. Proboscis This is a long, straw-like tongue that butterflies use to drink nectar from flowers. When not in use, it coils up under their heads. Eyes Butterflies have compound eyes, which allow them to see a wide range of colors and detect movement. And now, let's go over the key characteristics of the butterfly. Colors and Patterns Butterflies are known for their beautiful wings, which come in all sorts of colors and patterns. These colors can help them attract mates, camouflage from predators, or warn that they are poisonous. Pollinators Butterflies play an important role in nature as pollinators. When they drink nectar from flowers, they help transfer pollen from one flower to another, which helps plants make seeds and grow. Habitat Butterflies can be found in many places around the world, from forests and fields to gardens and meadows. Diet As caterpillars, butterflies eat lots of leaves. But as adult butterflies, they mostly drink nectar from flowers. Migration some butterflies, like the monarch butterfly, travel long distances during migration. Monarchs travel from North America to Mexico and back each year. And finally, let's learn the four stages of its life cycle. Egg A butterfly starts its life as a tiny egg, usually laid on a leaf. Caterpillar When the egg hatches, a caterpillar emerges. Caterpillars consume large amounts of leaves to grow bigger. Chrysalis After growing enough, the caterpillar forms a chrysalis, also known as a pupa. Inside the chrysalis, it transforms into a butterfly. Adult Butterfly Finally, the adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis, ready to fly and start the cycle again. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about butterflies today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!